What's up guys, Ben Milliken here from Mystery Tackle Box. I'm here in my garage, I'm going to do something and show you guys in this video how to do something that's very, very vital to catch more fish uh, and be more efficient with your time on the water. And that of course is organization. There's so many different things you can do with organization from organizing your hard baits, soft baits, rods, reels, uh, and just about everything else with your boat, bank fishing, everything else. And so I'm gonna cover all of that today. I'm gonna go through that in this video, show you guys how I stay organized and maximize my time on the water. Let's go. So first let's talk about hard bait storage. You know, obviously everyone stores their hard baits in these clear boxes just like this. Nothing too revolutionary there. But the best way I found to keep my stuff separated is obviously separating by what type of bait it is. But after that, you need to label everything. Labeling is a huge deal. But if you don't put the right labels on, your, your writing is going to wipe off, the, the tape's going to come off. The best method I have found is with white duct tape. I like to put one on the front, one on the top of white duct tape. That way if it's sitting like that on my boat or my tackle bag, I know exactly what my lipless cranks are right there. I can pick them up out of there. Uh, or if they're flat on the ground, whatever, right there on the top. Simple as that. So the next thing let's talk about is soft bait storage. You know, soft bait storage can be a headache and there's no right or wrong way to do it, but here's where it works best for me. I use two different methods. The first one is using a day box. I love these larger size boxes with no dividers in there. So the reason I like those is because I do a ton of bank fishing. I fish in other people's boats. I fish in my boat almost every single day. So I'm all over the place. I have my tackle all over the place. And the best way for me to stay organized is to put whatever solid baits I'm going to be using that day. If, if I think I'm going to be using craw baits and creature baits, I can just simply take the packages, throw them in a big guy like this, carry a really wide variety of stuff. I can throw my swim baits in here if I want to. Um, I wouldn't put hard baits in here, but you can put just about anything else in this box. So it's right there at your fingertips, ready to go. The second method I use is putting them in these bags. So when I'm in my boat, I like to put them in heavy duty bags like this one right here and, and organize them by what type of bait. So I got all my craws in one, I put my creatures in one, swim baits in one, drop shot baits, stuff like that. Keeps everything separated and, and that way you don't have to take everything out of the bag, out of the package uh, and put it into your boat because soft plastics, while I do have a couple boxes that have soft plastics in them, they can be a, a pain in the butt because you know you get any leakage, any water in there, all of a sudden you got salt all over the place, oh, they're all wet, baits are wrecked. I love storing them in their bags in these big heavy duty zippers by type. Now before we talk about transporting our tackle, let's talk about one more thing I don't think gets touched on enough, and that is transporting your line. You know, if you tie leaders, uh, or if you're on the road a lot, you, you know how it is. I backlash my reels about once every other trip, so bad that I have to completely re-spool that reel. And if you don't have a spool line out there, you might have to go home. You might have just wasted that entire trip or have to make a long trip to a store nearby, whatever. But that's why I like these, these boxes that are specifically made for holding lines so I can put whatever types uh, of line in there. I go from smallest to largest, monofilament, fluorocarbon braid, doesn't matter. Make sure you have one of these to protect your line and, and carry it from A to B. It does not take up that much space. So let's talk a little bit about transporting our tackle. Now, I, I don't know if you're like me, but growing up, I spent a lot of time in trouble and time out because I was always trying to transport my tackle wherever we went. If we went to the grocery store, if we went on a 10 hour trip and everything in between, I was packing my rods and reels tight in mom's minivan, car, whatever she had, or her dad's truck. And I spent a lot of time picking treble hooks out of seats, out of the floor, the carpet, the upholstery, everything. Obviously, you don't want to be doing that. Even just having them stored around your house. A lot of people store their rods in places where there's a lot of carpet. One way you can you can get over that is putting these little hook covers over your lipless baits. That's going to keep them from tangling in other baits, going to keep them from hooking the upholstery, your fingers, everything else while you're transporting your tackle. And that is very, very key. Keep you out of the doghouse. So the last piece of equipment we're going to talk about today uh, as far as transporting your tackle and your fishing rods and everything that I don't think gets talked about enough is a simple loop rope like this one right here. You know, these ropes come in handy just about anything you're doing. It's always good to have rope in your truck, in your camping equipment, in your boat. You never know when you're going to need this. If, if your boat breaks down, you're going to need to get towed. 
there's always situations you need a rope when you're camping um, and it's just it's awesome to have around the house and for a lot of people that have cars or SUVs I'm lucky enough to have a truck but when I take my wife's car on these long trips one of the things you can do is actually hang rope uh, across those handlebars on your car and put your fishing rods up there same deal with the garage for garage tackle and, and rod storage nothing really beats ropes going across the top uh, and you can just put your your fishing rods right across the top there it stores a ton of rods uh, and like i said the, these things are key if you ever get stuck there's so many different different things you can use a rope for and, and should have in your tackle bag get a rope so that is my means of tackle storage separation organization and transportation remember white duct tape with sharpie on those boxes store your plastics in big heavy duty bags or put them in a day box depending on where you're going and then when you're transporting that tackle put those hook hangers on and go get yourself some rope because you always need some rope right put that rope on the top of the inside of your car your suv whatever and keep those rods safe and out of the upholstery very, very important. But thanks a ton for watching, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.